Hey what's up guys and today's news is a bit shocking and kind of sad. Google might be giving up when it comes to the flagship Pixel devices. It seems like Samsung and OnePlus and Apple they are just a bit too much for them. The competition has made Google think that they are not for the flagship offering. They might be planning to do the Pixel 4a move with their flagships as well. That is having the flagship Pixel camera combined with a mid-range processor. Yes the latest leak is coming via Google's own camera application. Developers have revealed the code which mentions the Pixel 5 code names Bramble and Redfin aka Pixel 5 and Pixel 5 XL. Both of these code names were associated with Snapdragon 765 processor as it was shown in the previous code which led everyone to speculate that Google might be giving up. From the launch of the original Pixel, Google has always shipped its flagship phone with Qualcomm's latest processor but this time it may not happen. There are a number of reasons behind this. The strategy that they have implemented with the Pixel 3a and now they're about to do the same thing with the Pixel 4a has actually worked. Having the Snapdragon 765 means that Pixel 5 and Pixel 5 XL will be very cheap compared to the flagship phones from Samsung but at the same time it's pretty clear that Google isn't competing at a flagship level with Apple and Samsung. Google's last year was pretty bad. Pixel 4 was missing on so many features that you'd find on the competition like the ultra wide angle lens, a brighter display, a better battery. I mean the phone was great at taking pictures, taking night pictures, but what makes a phone a phone is basically a collection of features. And Pixel 4 devices they were lacking severely in a lot of departments which is why they now cost so much less compared to what their original price was back in December and it's not even a year now. I mean these devices have lost so much of their original value that this might not entirely be a bad decision. The code further confirmed that both of these upcoming models will have telephoto lens for zooming capabilities. I really hope that they should add the ultra wide angle lens as we have seen in the leak design. If you look at this design overall, you can tell that this phone is not meant to compete with Samsung's top of the line offering. I mean with Snapdragon 765 you cannot expect them to bring a 120Hz OLED panel or a huge battery. I mean, clearly they're looking towards a different direction for their Pixel devices if this actually does end up happening, which is very likely because it's coming from their software code. A similar thing happened with last year's Pixel devices. So Pixel 4a will come with a $400 price. It's going to have a better design. I feel like it's the best design that we have ever seen on a Pixel device in recent times. It's most likely rocking a plastic body, but at the same time, those flagship camera offering at this price is a really good deal. So it's going to be very interesting to see what the pricing for the Pixel 5 phones will be, especially if they're going to come with Snapdragon 765 chip. If they're going to be anywhere near at $650 range, then they're going to be in the same range as the OnePlus 8 devices. And we already know OnePlus 8 phones are coming with Snapdragon 865, a 120 hz display, ultra wide angle camera, huge batteries, 5G, near stock Android experience. I mean, OnePlus could absolutely slay the Pixel 5 phones but like I said it all depends on how the pricing will be for these phones. It's pretty clear these are not going to be the absolute top of the line flagship phones from Google. I'm very interested to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. If you are a Google fan, if you're actually rocking Pixel 4 or any other Pixel device in the past, uh, you know that they're really good with their camera but this move is definitely very very shocking and uh, yeah let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.